20 years of investing and how 2021 was my worst year of investing. In fact, I'm gonna be telling you how I lost over $100,000 of crypto gains in 2021. Now I've been investing for 20 years. I started as a 19 year old, I was clueless. And really today's video is a warning of how not to invest. For transparency, I've been in the past the expert on how not to invest. And today I'm gonna to be telling you exactly how not to invest so you can learn from my mistakes. I'm gonna be giving you a brief summary of how I've been investing over the last 20 years. I'm gonna be telling you how I lost over $100,000 in the crypto market. And finally, I'm gonna let you know how to avoid my 2021. So, 20 years of investing. My background, how I've been investing for the last 20 years. I started off as a 19 year old. I bought my first property as a 19 year old. I had a few properties in my early 20s and by 2010, 2011, I started investing in the stock market. What I done, I invested because of FOMO. I invested without doing research and by 2011, I'd lost my life savings on single shares. Don't do this. Don't invest because of FOMO and don't invest without doing the research. I kept on making questionable investment decisions right up until 2018. Made loads of mistakes. But in 2018, I made a decision. I decided to learn about money because I was sick of being bad at personal finance and I was sick of making questionable investment decisions. So things started to improve, like getting a strategy. My strategy since 2018, late 2018, has been long-term investing. Long-term investing with property, stocks and shares, and now crypto. Things have now improved, like the fact that I've now bought more properties. I've started investing in the stock market again via index investing. And I've also started investing in crypto with some good results. But 2021, like I said, was a bad year. And now I'm gonna be telling you how I lost over $100,000 of crypto gains in 2021. So it started off quite well. January, 2021, I invested in 10 altcoins with around $20,000. Now, things that was okay, $20,000 in 10 legit altcoins. But in March 2021, I got into a shitcoin. I got into a shitcoin because of four more. I put $2,000 in. And the good thing is that this $2,000 ended up going to over $80,000 by April, mid-April 2021. This was around $85,000, I think it was £68,000. And unfortunately, I didn't cash anything out and still haven't. Now, 2021 wasn't all bad. I did cash some Solana out, which was good. I got in early with Solana and it flew up. I uh, cashed out some of the way. I managed to cash $20,000, which is really good. So that's me on an even keel. So I didn't lose any money in 2021. But as I'm going to tell you, I did lose crypto gains. Over $100,000 worth of crypto gains. So I'm going to take you to the start of November 2021. Now my crypto portfolio at this time was just over $120,000. Now, I was aware that we were in a bull market and I was aware that that bull market was gonna end at some point. But most of the people I was listening to were saying it, the bull market was gonna end at the end of December 2021, even the start of 2022. Some people were saying it was to cash out, but I wasn't really listening. And this is because of FOMO and greed. Don't invest with FOMO and greed. Learn from my lessons. 
So I have my portfolios sat at around 120,000 just over in November 2021. Now I didn't cash out at this point. In fact, I went further in. I went balls deep and put my cash buffer into two more crypto projects. Don't do this. Don't invest with your cash buffer. So as we all know, the bull market ended and the crypto market crashed and I didn't cash anything out on the way down. And by January, February 2022, my portfolio was down to below $20,000. So yeah, that's how I lost over $100,000 of crypto gains. And basically it's because of FOMO and greed. And with 20 years of investing experience, I should have known better. But basically the crypto market chewed me up and spat me out in 2021. I got far too excited. I thought I was going to retire by the end of the year. I was checking on coin market cap far too much got too anxious, too stressed. Please learn from my lessons. I've learned from my lessons and it's gonna help me going forward. But these lessons have been pretty painful. So finally, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can avoid my 2021. So with any investment, you need a plan. Now my plan is long-term buy and hold with property, index investing and crypto. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on crypto and what you should be doing. So don't invest because of FOMO or greed like I've done in the past. Stick to a plan. Do some research. Invest in Bitcoin for one. Bitcoin's a good, really good starting point. I'm totally convinced by Bitcoin. It's so important in the future of money. So read up on Bitcoin, invest in Bitcoin. And if you want to invest in altcoins, read up on them. Invest in legitimate altcoins. Don't just invest because of FOMO. Don't invest thinking you're going to make 10x, 100x gains within the week. You've got to think long term. And another thing you've got to do from my experience is cash out on the way up. So the market's crashed. You might get in now, buy some altcoins, and in the next bull market, your altcoins are gonna fly up, in my opinion. Now on the way up, you've got to cash out some profits. So you might invest $1,000, for example. If your altcoins go up to $10,000, at least pull your 1,000 pounds out. Maybe even pull 50% of your profits out. So you set at $10,000, pull $5,000 out. And that's investing with skill. That's about it for today's video. Hopefully you've learned from my mistakes. Hopefully you've taken some valuable information away. And hopefully you don't have a 2021 like I did. Please invest with skill. So to invest with skill, Look at your personal finances, look at your budget, try to remove some of your expenses like takeaways, remove some of them subscriptions, build a cash buffer, research, improve your financial literacy, then you can invest with skill. Like invest in long term, like how I invest long term with property, index investing and crypto. Just don't have a 2021 like I did. But what I will say is you're probably going to make some mistakes along the way and that's okay. You're going to have times when you should have, would have, could have, but that's going to help you. It's going to make you into a better investor long term. Why not learn from my mistakes? So your investing journey is so much smoother. So that's it. If you've liked today's video, Give me a little like and subscribe to the channel and thanks for listening.